Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you how you can add additional signatures to your DocuSign account, um, to your profile. So this might be good if you sometimes sign with a middle initial or sometimes sign with a legal name, um, and you want to have the option to sign with more than one signature, or um, this tip might also apply if you run into a situation where you have a client that's buying multiple homes, um, maybe on behalf of someone else, uh, and they need to change the signature uh, each time that they sign, right, this tip will help them out as well. So from the DocuSign account that you wanna add signatures to, you can come up, it'll either have initials on the top right in a circle or your headshot. We want to click on Manage Profile from that drop down. Okay, and from here, we want to click on Signatures on the top toolbar. Okay, and I have a couple added already. Let's say I want to add my married name or whatever the case may be. And go ahead and click Add New right here. Or I can edit any of the existing. Let's say I want my married name. Right, so you can update the uh, full name and initials on the top. You can draw and upload that signature too, just a heads up. Um, and then you can go ahead and pick the handwriting. And then click Create. All right, so now you'll see those different signatures. Um, so let's take a look at how it's actually applied when signing just so you can help guide your clients if they add another signature or if you do this as well and need to change your signature. So what you'll do, I'm just going to switch back to my DocuSign Rooms account. I just have an example room open. That's this one here. All right, so let's say in this example, you know, I need to sign the listing agreement. Okay, so I have clicked on the form um, to act, to get that docu signed, right? We have that in an envelope. All right, so we pulled up, up the form, we filled out the form, you know, went through the process to click on that to docu sign. Just gonna take you through this real quick here. Of course, if you would like a detailed overview on how to work with DocuSign, I'll put the uh, DocuSign tips and 20 minute overview in the um, YouTube details of this video below. All right, but just quickly here, so we have the form in our envelope. I'm going to add recipients, the pre-tagged roles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in a seller and myself as a listing agent. Hey guys, I know this is quick. I'm just wanting to show you what it looks like when you actually go to sign. All right, so we have the recipients added. So I have myself added. And just a heads up, in general, um, it will prompt them, you know, if it's their first time signing the form, it will prompt them to sign with whatever name you have indicated here. So, you know, you can uh, make sure that's updated to the correct signing name and then click next on the top right there. Since it was an interactive form, meaning one that I could just start typing in when I first pulled this up, it does have the initial fields automatically on the form. So I don't have to do anything to add initial boxes if it was an interactive form. Again, meaning I could just start typing in the form. And so I'm gonna send that off now. Again, this is just to show you guys how it looks like when you actually go to sign them. Okay, so now as the agent, I mean, this is a good tip for you guys as well. If this is a form that you are going to sign as the agent, it does send you an email um, to sign it that way. So you can absolutely pull up your email at this point and sign from the email that DocuSign sends you. 
or you can go to the envelope section of the DocuSign room directly. And you'll notice, so these are all the envelopes that I have sent in the course of this transaction. Okay, just any time I've sent out one or a group of forms, that's what an envelope is. In this case, I see the ones that need my signature, so I can go ahead and click on that and click to sign it. So this is what it looks like when your clients go to sign as well. So I'll go ahead and click continue on the top right, and click start on the left. All right, so this is where, so I went to actually sign this form just a second ago. Here, let me go to the next one so I can show you guys. So when you go to sign or you or your client goes to sign, it might sign with their last signed initials is what it seems. It defaults on the last signed initial. I'll double check there's not a, you know, a setting to set to default. Um, however, it's very easy to switch the initial um, or signature for that matter. So if you click on the initial, you can then you have the option to either clear that or change it in this case. So if I click on change, it will let me change it to a different one that I had or maybe even add my own. Um, so even if you didn't you know, set this up for your client with the correct signing name, they can add their own here. So I'll click adopt. And so this next question is asking, you know, I have previous initials on this form. Do I want to, you know, update all of those initials to match the new one that I'm indicating or that I'm picking here? So in this case, I do. All right, so it updated all the initials. So then it would take me through, and now I'm continuing to, knit, to initial with the updated um, initials. And then, of course, the signature, when I get to the bottom of it, would also have the correct initial there. Um, so I realize you'll probably have to walk your client through that a little bit, or feel free to share this video with them and let me know if you have any questions. Um, we're more than happy to help you out. Uh, support at scottleroymarketing.com. But um, in general, once they go through and finish the form, so as you as the agent or uh, the client, right, once they're done signing, they will be given the option um, to either email the signed form to themselves or create their own account in order to save those forms in. And that's where, of course, they're able to update their signature as the um as the client. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions at all. I'd be more than happy to help you with this. Support at scottlavoremarketing.com. I hope you have a great rest of your day.